is a leader. There's nobody that's born in the kingdom of God that does not have leadership potential. And what has happened to many people is they've been born unique, but they die a copy. We're about empowering the people because we find if we can help the people fulfill their dream and the purpose in their heart, it's amazing how they'll, they'll you know, link in to the vision that God's put in our heart. When we speak about reaching the culture in which you live, it's easy to reach the culture in which you live. But the challenge is reaching the culture in which you do not live. It's one thing to say you want to reach people, but it's another thing to say you want to do what is necessary to reach them. You convince people around you, here's what can happen. You help them remove the limitations. And there are many leaders that are content with everything exactly the way it is. If you're going to do something beyond where you are, it's going to take some effort. You're going to have to have a desire to go beyond where you are right now. Stand before God for the people so that you may bring the difficulties to God. I want you to notice very carefully, it didn't say stand before the people for God. I'm going to tell you right now, there is nothing that will destroy a marriage, a staff, quicker. When you start keeping score and you get bitterness in your heart. It's also the hardest demon that I've ever seen to get out of somebody. Because people refuse to let it go. James tells us that God gives grace to the humble. What kills pride faster than letting others know I stumble? Because His grace is made sufficient when our weakness shows. And others can see that even in trials, our faith still grows. So 
build your church, build your church.